finding an output of a function from its graph. So it shows us the graph of function g, and it wants us to find g of negative 2. Well, so what we're going to do for that is we're going to say that negative 2 is our x, because that's what we plug into functions as an x. So we're going to find negative 2 on the graph here. And so x for being negative 2 is going to be anywhere along here because this is where negative two is on the x-axis. So any point along this line I drew is going to have negative two as its x value. So what we need to do is figure out where does the graph intersect that line, and that's going to be, and if I clear off my, erase that line, it'll be easier to see. So that happens to hit right there. So when I plug in the negative two, I get a y value up here at 1. So the graph of the function f g of negative 2, g of negative 2 equals 1. Let's do another one of these just to make sure. So we've got the function, we've got h of 2. So we're going to find 2 on the x axis, and then we want to know where at this x of 2 does the graph hit? And that's going to be down here. And we've got this point right there. And that's not drawing. There we go. This point right here. So h of 2, x value of 2, is going to have y value of negative 3. So my answer is negative 3.